Hello everyone! I was pleasantly surprised when Just Flight announced the release of the Vulcan on Xbox just one month after the PC release. I don't know why the F-28 is taking so long to arrive, and Just Flight provided only a meager explanation, but uh, let's move on, that's not the focus today. So be aware that this is just a first impression, I will need more time to give a proper review of the aircraft. However, I know some of you are waiting for an opinion before diving in, and that's precisely the purpose of this first video, to see how it performs on Xbox. All the footage you will see in this video come from my Xbox Series X, with no mixing with the PC version for today. Just Flight gives us three versions of the Vulcan with some liveries, and they are all very similar. But it must be acknowledged that the work done is of very high quality. Just Flight has accustomed us to very good work with the BAE 146. And here, when you look at all the curves, the different shapes and the lines on this plane, it's beautiful. The textures are good, the cockpit is very nice. And compared to all the videos I watched back then on the PC version, honestly, I don't see much difference, so kudos to Just Flight. Of course, I won't go into the details of the systems today. Dozens of channels have already done that extensively, even on the Just Flight uh, YouTube channel, where everything is explained. So I'm not a pirate. I would say I'm more like a silly monkey. The animations and lights are really cool, the rotating beacons are quite classy. Let's get to the sensitive point of our dear console and what interests us all, performance. We know that the plane offers many options with a tablet, once again very well sought out, lots of animation, very good sounds, I will leave a segment for you to admire the, the work. So with all that, uh, mixed with the two latest updates that uh, we love so much on Xbox, how does it perform? I started with ConnexB, no problem. I went to a random runway in the middle of the Pacific, no problem. And when I say no problem, it's not even a frame rate drop. Then I wanted to test with heavier add-ons. So I went to Monterey, California. And no problem. Wow, I was starting to be impressed. I thought, okay, let's try taking off from LaGuardia in New York. Well, dreaming wasn't an option. It crashed immediately during the loading screen. But I didn't give up on the test. So I tried again with Los Angeles and the IndieBuilds Kallax add-on. And surprise, as you can see, it worked. Just a very slight frame drop during takeoff and uh, uh, lousy ground textures, but no crash. This confirms, by the way, that the fewer screens in an aircraft, the better. Or the opposite. The more screens you have in an aircraft, the more likely you are to have memory management problems on Xbox. So, for a first impression, it's very good work. I'm not surprised by the quality of this new add-on from Just Flight. But I didn't think that in terms of performance on Xbox, the result would be at this level. I must specify though that I spent 30 minutes trying to get my Airbus Thrustmaster pack to work without success. 
I aside and tried all sorts of solution, but each time the, th the throttle levers 1 and 2 remained stuck in idle position. Once unplugged, I had no problem controlling the aircraft with the Xbox controller as you can see on the videos. But it's a negative point for this first impression and I will have to delve into the issue to find out if it's my problem or an issue with the aircraft. Thanks for stopping by the channel, feel free to check out the links in the description and see you soon, bye bye.